Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite line of GE incandescent bulbs, the Miser line. The lower wattage equivalents, you know, when they were trying to start to save energy and stuff like that. So, here we have a what appears to be a two-pack. I would assume these would have come in a four-pack normally. This is a two-pack package, uh, according to this. So, light of a 100 watt bulb for only 95 watts. Wow, you save 5 watts? That's so much! Whatever. Of course, miser. All that fun stuff. Of course, the average short life, the same lifespan as a standard 100 watt bulb. How do they even share it down here? They have a little promotion for halogen headlamps. More information here on the side. There's the etch of the bulb. It's really cool seeing that 95 on there. That's real neat. There's the other. And then I found one all by itself. So here we have the lonesome bulb that I couldn't find its package for. One of these has, uh, you know, a better etch. 120 volt. Yep, yep. I wonder if they ever made them in 130 to give them an even longer life. So, let me get the dimmer. It would be nice to, to dim these and appreciate it's a vertical filament, which I'm sure it has. So let's put our A19 incandescent bulb in here. Get everything set up a little bit. Turn off our lights, set it to dim, turn it on. Let's see, yep, it's most certainly a vertical filament. You can see it in there. Let's turn it all the way up. Now well, it's absolutely incredibly bright, right up there with 100 watt. You know, holding that in front of the camera is not really helping anything. You can't see anything. So let me move it back a little bit. Hold it a foot away from the sensor. Get a little over a thousand lux from the bulb. If you can see that, it moved it further away. Very cool. I have another 95 watt miser bulb, but I, I believe it has a different etch than this. This is a, a different etch that I don't know if I've really seen before. I believe they've come in the red etch as well. Get a nice view of that filament. Awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty much a, it's a standard incandescent bulb. You can feel the heat coming off of it. No doubt about that, but a early attempt at saving energy that, of course, it has evolved many times since then, and, well, LEDs were the uh, final decision, I suppose. Who knows what comes in the future, but I feel LEDs are, are here to stay for at least a while. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this quick little video of these wonderful GE... 95 watt miser bulbs pretty cool also please comment share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching